I don't like sharing my food or beverages with other people. Like growing up, my grandmother and my aunt would be like, oh, can I have a piece of your chicken? I'd be like, you got steak, eat the steak. This is my chicken, no. And or my mother would be like, can I have a sip of your Coke? I'm like, no, you got Sprite, drink the Sprite. I got Coke, I'm having this. It's the way I was. You know. What you ought to know Adam Wade is about, it's about my life. It's about how growing up in a New Hampshire town, uh, I got a lot of love from my family. And through that love, it, it pushed me to follow my dreams and come to New York City to make it. Trying to get into showbiz and then figuring out my voice, and it, it wasn't just stand-up comedy, it was more storytelling. It was a harder route for me to go. I mean, I'd be at a bar and someone would say, here's my friend the comedian, tell me a joke. And I'd be like, I don't, I tell stories. And it, it, would, it, never, and it would get frustrating. But fortunately now, everything is kind of, is continuing to change. And with Audible, it's just, it's, it's perfect timing. When Susie asked that night, Everything changed, and I said, of course, please have a sip, have a sip. And she took a sip, and she liked it, and she gave it back, and she thanked me. And as she walked away, I looked at the straw, and there was like, like a purple little lipstick on, on the top of the straw. And as she was walking away, I, I put my lips to it, and, and I took a sip. Until my junior year of, of college, I, I, I counted that as, as a kiss. Uh, one thing I, I think Audible listeners should know about me is uh, I give it my all. I think people will be inspired. If they haven't gone after their dreams, no matter what age they are, they, they, they will want to. All right, thank you. <laughs>